hello everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to see a python simple project so in this project what i have done is i have created a dictionary so using which we can search for words and even we can add new words to a dictionary and in case if you want to update any meaning of the word we can do that as well and finally if you want to list down all the words in the dictionary there is an option as well so let's get started what is the final output of this program let's see this so when we run this program we get this menu here like first option for searching word two for adding a new word and three for updating four for displaying the entire dictionary so i have taken like i mean initially in the dictionary like four or five words that's it i mean i cannot add everything in one go right so I have a simple dictionary here so let's see all the words so that is option 4 so we get to see all the words here okay so in case if you want to search for any particular word let's press 1 so this program will be keep on continuing I mean unless you press 5 for exiting okay so press 1 enter the search like CS250 and we will get the meaning here okay so in case if you want to add a new word so we need to choose option 2 here and it will ask to enter the word I will give Python here and the meaning is like a programming language so let's see I mean whether this word is updated or not in our dictionary so for that we need to press 4 see here so we got and similarly if you want to add one more word let's do 1 2 and I will add apple here it's a fruit basically okay so I am not adding the actual meaning but I'm just updating the words here, adding the words. So in case if you want to update any meaning of this, any one of these words. So let's say some for that we need to choose option three here, and which word you want to update. So let's say something like this one, CS five double nine, and the meaning that you want. Let's say give something. It's directed project this time added directed here so let's see if it is updated or not so for that press 4 see here so it's got updated so that's how i mean we can i mean run this program for exiting out of this program press 5 that's it so goodbye and now let's see the actual code how we have written this one so I will show you step by step. So this is a banner actually. So for displaying this, I wrote a function. So this is the function here. So it will display the banner that we are getting in our output. And if you see, this is our initial directory. Okay, so all words. If you want to add a few more words, you can do that here. Okay, so maybe anything that you want. something like this and this is for the entire dictionary and this function is for displaying all the words in the dictionary so you can see this here clearly so I am using all words for the loop here and I will get the key when we run through the dictionary using a for loop so finally using a print statement I am printing out the key and as well as value of that key in the dictionary so in the print function I have paused this format method here so this is a pretty good one so you can use it so that's about these two functions okay so moving on so I took this while true always because we want to continue this program in number of times okay so unless we press 5 this program has to be continued so when we press 5 this program will break so because we have a break statement here okay so that's why you see this here 5 will say goodbye and break the program okay so similarly let's see for option one when we search for a word exactly how we are searching it so it's similar to all display but the thing is we are just searching for it I mean we are checking whether the word is there in the keys or not if it is not there we are printing like word is not found and if you wish to add you do it here okay so I hope you got this idea if you have any doubts please let us know 
and similarly for option 2 as well okay so this is basically for updating no it is for adding the word and before adding it we are seeing whether it is already existing or not if it is already existing we are printing this message saying that this world is already existing if you want to update you need to op choose option 3 here okay so that's how it is and coming to the option 3 for updating first we will take the word check whether this word is there or not if it is there that's fine otherwise we will say that this word is not present in the dictionary and he has to add it to the dictionary and if it is there then we will take the another input the meaning of this word that he wants to add and then we are finally updating it here it's a very simple program and yeah it can be used for a school project as well so please take a look at this one and if you have any doubts please let us know